Alright, so time is now 2.15. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon everyone. Waalaikumsalam doktor. Waalaikumsalam doktor. Thank you. So I think we uh, shall immediately start. So first of all, uh, I would like to wish you all welcome back to visual campus. Uh, particularly BEV 20501, the Ethical Engineering Lab 1. And I am Mahyuzi Menjenal, and I will be the coordinator for this particular subject throughout the semester. And now let me share with you the, uh, the slide of the presentation. So while I am presenting my material, so in case you have any question, so you may interrupt me and ask. Okay, don't wait until the last page or until the last session to ask. So you may write in the chat box, you may raise your hand, or you can switch on your uh, microphone to ask any question. Is it presenting? Is it appearing? So I think is good now eh? so let me open my ppt file right this one oops let's see Somebody is coming, sorry. So I'm not sure how to set the auto acceptance. So this, this is the reason why I keep, you know, approving, uh, approving your name. So never mind. So, so this is my slide for today's presentation. So again, welcome to BEV 20501, Statical Engineering Lab 1. So I'll be your... Uh, uh, Codator for this particular subject, and these three are the uh, picture of the lab. Uh, you should enter this semester in case you are here in uh, main campus. Okay, we have first the wiring lab, <clears throat> and then the second one is the measurement lab, and then the third one is the ethical principle lab. So, these all three, these labs these two left if you're not mistaken located at fke complex the labs complex so the same wing and they are next to each other okay and then this one is the 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 uh, measurement lab is located at block qb so next to qa the admin administration block okay and then uh, moving on to the next slide <clears throat> okay you see the synopsis what, uh, what am I presenting is actually similar to what we have in the RPP, the lecture plan, uh, the RPP 04, but I make it in, uh, I, I would say, the more more interest, interesting presentation. So the PPTX uh, or the, the, the uh, PowerPoint file. So the first one, so this is what we have in the wiring lab. Okay, this is uh, the second one in blue. So this is what we have in the uh, measurement lab. And the third one is the principal ethical, the ethical principal lab. Okay. So synopsis for the first lab, the wiring lab. So we have actually the ethical wiring installation for lighting circuit. So you, are, you should do uh, the ethical installation or the wiring installation for the simple lighting circuits. So later on, I will brief on the uh, title of exercise or title of the experiment in more details okay. and then uh, the second experiment will cover the power circuit and the third one so we will do the installation for the system the order the supply systems which belong from uh, kw cash meter to consumer control unit consumer control unit known as db the discussion box the white box you have uh, in your uh, own house or your expertise half you see once you enter your main door for example if you turn right right or you turn left so you will immediately see this white box okay, attached to the wall 
the so-called DB box lah, distribution box. So all we have the uh, MCB inside there, we have the uh, ELCB inside there, we have the main switch, etc. Et so and then the second one is the, again, the measurement labs where we have our basics uh, statistical sampling exercise where we have a amount of resistor, let's say up to 30 pieces, and out of 30 pieces, you are going to do certain step of sampling. So we have another two or three subset consists of uh, probably 10 pieces, 15 pieces, or even 20 pieces. And from there, so you must uh, able to measure the ohms value. Right. So and then put into same category or same uh, same group of value. And then uh, again, uh, you must uh, how to say uh, masterize the knowledge of basic uh, statistic. Okay. So you must be able to come out. Uh, later on, I will explain in details. Okay. Never mind. Just do, go through the synopsis or just go through the the title of the experiment. So the second one is a measurement using uh, DC bridge. Okay, so you must be a bit able to, uh, I would say, to operate uh, a DC bridge equipment, for example, in order to measure the unknown value of a resistor. Okay, and then the last one is the power measurement of DC and AC single phase load. So all everything related to power measurement. So we have uh, three type of power namely uh, uh, real power uh, we have q the resist uh, the, uh, the what do you call it the q power sorry and then the last one is the s so the parent power the reactive power and the, the apparent power so these three type of power measurement will be done in ac and a dc a single phase load in this particular lab and then moving on to the third lab or the last lab uh, so we are going to cover the basic ethical measurement using uh, DC source. So we have uh, one specific equipment, for example. So one special equipment, for example. So we have, again, our component, for example, the resistor. We have a capacitor, etc., etc. And from there, so you must be able to measure uh, this connector, or sorry, this component where we supply DC, uh, DC source. Okay, and then we have second exercise is a basic ethical measurement using AC source and then we switch on we switch to uh, AC source so what happened to the component what happened to the reading of the voltage what happened to the reading of the power the current etc etc and then the third one is AC voltage measurement using by using oscilloscope so we are going to have uh, we are going to plot a sinusoidal waveform for example and then from uh, that particular waveform so you must be able to measure the VPP the peak to peak voltage, the VP, the peak voltage. So what about the RMS value, the root mean square value of the sine wave? Okay, this kind of this kind of activity. Now this is the cost learning outcome, the CLO. So we have all together list down four of them. So first one is you must be able to produce laboratory report. So this is quite common. Lah. I think kalau, uh, whatever lab you enter or so whatever lab you re you register so you must be able to produce uh, laboratory reports but this time around we're gonna have the e-report the electronic reports that includes scientific knowledge and findings obtained during laboratory activity it, it's, it is not just only about the the hands-on skill on how to set up the circuit for example to how to set up the experimental circuit for example and switch on everything so give the supply, so measure the result. But more than that, so you must be able to enclose the scientific knowledge. So you must interrelate the scientific knowledge between uh, the theory knowledge and also the one you've done in the lab. Uh, the one, the reading you obtain in the lab, and you must merge them, analyze them, come up with discussion, etc., etc. Okay, interrelate between the theory and also the practical. So and then the second one is you must be able to assemble appropriate experimental setup according to laboratory legal lines and instructions. So it's a very clear cut that you must be able to construct or assemble the experiment setup which is stated in the guidelines, the lab sheet and instructions. So how well you follow each step and also the procedure. Okay. So then the third one, I believe the one, the first one is for the SC 
skills, which is the cognitive skill. Okay, the one you are using your 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 thinking skill. Okay, so the second one is your psychomotor. So you you are using your uh, physical, for example. Okay, in order to assemble, uh, in order to construct a circuit, etc. Et okay, and the, and then the third one is organize systematic laboratory group activities according to the given procedure and instruction. So this. The third one is again. This is uh, to uh, assess your psychomotor skill, and then, and and then out of out of there, so you must show your communication skill, for example. Also, you must show your teamwork skill among your group members, etc. Et okay. So you must able at the end of the day, you must able to systematically organize your uh, group activities. Last but not least, this is to you. To present the professional ethics in completing required tasks during laboratory session. So you, this is in, this is including your uh, ethics and also the the discipline. So once may may uh, ask questions. So sir, how do you actually assess the professional ethics or the discipline ethics? Because we don't have those physical exercise. I mean, we don't uh, we do not uh, enter the lab. Okay, the real lab. So yes, your as your report your demonstration later on so i will explain so uh, the the dates you submit i mean not later than the due date so all will reflect how professional you are how disciplined you are okay even though i we cannot see in our uh, in you know in real life those exercise you are doing okay then this is just a little bit in the language melayu tu automatic switch ke bahasa melayu so jadi lidah Jawa. So lab safety ni, uh, ni even though you are not in the lab, okay, but kita we we look uh, a little bit on the lab safety just to recap. Okay, just to recap. So this is the full attire you should wear, not like this lah. Basically ada list down here somewhere in the this 50 points. So first uh, langkah-langkah keselamatan makmal. So you must uh, follow all the the rules and the regulation, the safety measurement so uh, which been outlined by the uh, uh, by the lab okay uh, the person in charge in the lab all right so the second ones so no foods all right no drink so you are not allowed to smoke in the lab or you are not allowed to use your handphone while you are in the lab so the third one so without permission so you are not allowed to enter the lab and then the fourth one i believe we have an international student so allow me to translate in english so the fourth one so you must put your bag outside so we have uh, our rack outside there so the chef outside there so we have provide then don't simply bring the bag inside the inside the lab just bring the necessary uh stationery for example or your your book for example or your lab sheet for example into the lab okay and then the fifth one so you must wear your lab jacket, something like this, lab jacket, which is provided by the faculty, and then also the appropriate shoes with the uh, rubber feet, for example, while you are in the lab. These are all for the safety measure. Okay, and then number six. So you must get permission from your lecturer or from your instructor. Sorry, your from instructor or even your technicians before you use any equipment of the lab. And then number seven, so is, is there any signage inside the lab? So please don't uh, move it. Okay? So please don't change it. So don't simply move to other place. Right? This, this, there are some reason why they put the signage over there. Okay, the warning signage, etc. Uh, etc. Et okay. And then the number eight, so you must make a report to your lecturer okay, or to your technicians. Is there any a faulty happen in the uh, at the uh, equipment of the lab? So any breakdown, any faulty of the equipment. So please make sure you make a immediately make a report. Okay, and then number nine. So so without permission of the uh, lecturer or the lecturer in charge, so you must you cannot actually uh, run the run the experiment. Okay, this is I think this is a, a well practice in our lab. So each time after you have construct your circuit. So each time you have actually set up your experimental circuit, for example, so you must ask your lecturer, you must call my your lecturer or your, even the technician before you can switch it on, or you can run up the circuit. 
Okay. And then number 10, so you are not allowed to to joke around. Okay, so tak boleh bergurau lah and don't make any noise during uh, your presence in the lab. And then uh, number 11, so all the equipments or the computer, so must be neatly arranged and put it back to the place and make sure you switch off everything before the leave the lab. And then number 12, so make sure everything in a good position, okay? So in the good array, for example, before you leave the uh, the mahmal or the lab, okay? The chairs, the table, the workbench, etc. Et equipment, the cable, etc. Et et okay? And then the number 13, so you are not you are not allowed you are disallowed to use the first aid kit okay the box of the first aid kit so without the permission of your lecturer or the technician okay and then number fourteen so you are not allowed you are disallowed to use the fire extinguisher unless there is a fire okay unless there is a flame or there is a fire and then only can use the fire extinguisher of course the lecturer or the well trained person who know how to handle or to operate the fire installation. Not every one of us. So number 15, so don't litter around. So jangan buang sampah mata-mata lah. Kalau you buang masa sampah, so if you litter around, so you may invite uh, cockroach for example, rats for example kan. Daripada luar lah, you can invite them. So they are not allowed to be in the lab lah. So cost timetable. So ini yang kita ada, this is the cost timetable for the uh, three slots. We have Sunday 2 to 5, we have Monday 2 to 5 and today uh, Wednesday 2 to 5 and uh, these are the list actually for the lecturer for each uh, respective slot. Okay. However, so I have listed down the timetable versus lecturer. So hopefully you know who your lecturer which has been assigned to your uh, respective session. So not all the lecturer is me or else later on we will see or the lecture, our group of lecturers will see each time we will fill in the name and then the same uh, the same lecture name will appear there. Okay. Mentang-mentang lah I'm the coordinator and then the rest of the report I will see the Dr. Mahizi over there, Dr. Mahizi over there. So please know your own lecturer. Okay. So appreciate him lah. Okay. I appreciate her. So Sunday, for example, two to five, if, if you are in session one, so I'll be your lecturer lah as well. Okay. Beside the coordinator, I'll be the lecturer for session one. Session three, Dr. Iwan, session four, uh, session eight, uh, Dr. Emily, and then the Monday, two to five. Me, myself again, uh, lecturer for uh, session four, and then Mr. Swami, session uh, five, Dr. Apiza, session six. And then today, for example, Mr. Swami is going to be your session two lecturer, and then Dr. Manu, session seven, and then Dr. Hyro, session, session nine. So section two is uh, allocated uh, special allocation for allocated for student who registered code, old code BEF two three four zero one. Uh, if you, you notice yesterday, I have um, share some information about uh, the BEF students or the BEF code student. Okay, so they are super senior student who register this subject this semester. He's supposed to. Uh, what they call it to register this subject earlier during their study but due to some uh, issue uh, some transfer credit I mean uh, credit transfer credit transfer credit yes which has, has not been approved so they have to uh, register this subject this semester okay so visual experiment schedule so this is what we will have okay throughout the semester so the visual experiment schedule so we will start at week number four, which is three weeks from now, yeah, and then followed by weeks five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So all together we are gonna have nine weeks, which is equivalent to nine experiments. Okay, so one experiment equal to one one week lah, of course. Okay, and then the whole session will do the same as exercise. Okay, experiment number one. So the whole week. So the whole session will do the same. The thing is, of course, of course the date. Okay, session, certain session we do it or start it on the first, uh, on the uh, Sunday, for example, or Monday, or for your turn is Wednesday. Okay. By the way, all the title is uh, same for the whole, whole week. Okay, this is a good schedule or a good reference for you, lah, for example. Okay, so me, myself, and Dr. Mano, so we'll be your lecturer, so we'll be your facilitator for the first three weeks 
and we will cover three titles okay, of, of mass experiment. So what are the titles? So we will see later on. And then, uh, okay, this is some remarks on the holiday. So we have a uh, deeper Bali holiday on 3rd on, of November and 4th of November. Okay. And then again, the following week, week number two, uh, sorry, week number five. So we will uh, cover topic number two or experiment number two. So it's either me or Dr. Mana will guide you experiment number three. So that's number four, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So... So, for example, Dr. Iwan, Dr. Hafiza, and Dr. Hairul will cover success number as primer number four. Okay? Five and six, of course. So, it depends on them. Lah. So, who want to take the turn to guide you? Okay? And then, the last three weeks, Mr. Swami and Dr. Emily. So, it's their turn to uh, guide you on experiment seven, eight, and nine. So, what are those experiments? Here. Right? So this is the list of spur ribbon. Somebody is coming, so I need to check it out. All right, this is uh, again the uh, list of spur ribbon. Uh, so Makmal Pendawai Electric, uh, the wiring uh, lab. So we have experiment number one, experiment number two, and experiment number three. Again, I will cover this experiment as well as Dr. Mano for the first three weeks. So, ethical wiring installation for lighting circuit. So, we have one number of lamp controlled by one unit, one way switch. So this is a very direct forward wiring installation. So, for example, we have uh, this bulb or this lamp. Okay. So, we have the conductor and also we have this uh, one way switch. Okay. So, ini yang very typical lah you have at home kan. So, you switch on uh, the switch, the one way switch. So, you see one light will, uh, one bulb or one lamp will light up. Okay, for example, so, so they very, very right forward. So you are going to have this type of installation in this particular exercise. Okay, so that's one for lighting circuit. And then as we move on to experiment number two, so you're going to have a ethical wire installation. It's not for, sorry for the typo, for power circuit. So power circuit, so we have uh, two numbers of socket outlet, 13 ampere. So connected by radial circuit. The one we have in Malaysia is a 13 ampere type. Okay, we have... If you're not mistaken, we have two types of ampere. I mean, the, ampere, the, the, the current capacity is either 13 ampere or 15 ampere. So the one we have, uh, let me see, next to me, yes, on the wall, for example, down there, uh, next to you, down there, you can see in your room, uh, the, the, type, the box type of the slot. The box type of the slot means it carries, or the capacity of the current is 13 ampere. So the round type, kalau bentuk dia bulat, circle type, we have three slots, isn't it? One, two, three, and then it's a round type, and then it is actually uh, the 15 ampere type of uh, socket, or the, uh, the, the, the the what they call it, the wall socket. Okay. Of course, you can you can browse lah. You can go browse yourself and see why we have why we mentioned 13 ampere. If you mention 13 ampere, means means there must be uh, some type some other type of uh, uh, socket. If they are one type only, and then just generally we put socket lah, kan? Because one type. All right. So this is very uh, side knowledge lah. By radial circuit again, if uh, we have a two type of uh, power circuit, so namely the radial and also the the ring circuit. So you can go uh, to the the net for example and browse what's the difference between radial and also the, uh, uh, the, the 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 ring circuit and what's the benefit and how to implement. Uh, this time of circuit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we will brief this while we come to week number six or experiment number two in more detail. Okay, so this is, I believe, the not all this you are going to have or you're going to install. So this is actually the, uh, this is actually everything we have in the lab. Okay, everything we have in the lab, if you are able to install them. Okay, for example, again, this only, this part only, uh, will be put in exercise number two, okay, the power circuit. Okay, we have two numbers of socket outlet over here, is it? Is it? Okay. And then from here, and then for example, let's say we have a, a, a bulb, and then from there we can actually check your circuit whether it is working or not. Okay. And then we have a thicker wiring installation for supply system belong from kilowatt hour meter to consumer control unit or the db this one this is what i mentioned earlier so we have the white box over here so
So this is the consumer control unit or distribution box. So we do have also the TMB part also over here. So the, the, this is the TMB part also outside your house. Okay, you can simply see. So uh, we have uh, cutout switch over here, for example. And then we do have here. So this is what we are going to do. Supposedly in the lab, uh, the insulation, the wiring, wiring insulation of kilowatt meter hour here, the one. Uh, I show here and down to your DB box. Okay, so inside the DB box, of course, we have the main switch. So again, we have the LCB. So we have the miniature circuit breaker. Right. So that's for SSS one, two, and three uh, wiring lab. And then what about number or lab number two, the normal pengukuran kuasa elektrik or the measurement, the electrical measurement uh, lab. Okay, so we are going to have exercise number four. So number five or experiment number number six. So this is what I mentioned earlier. So this is how the board bench, the module looks like. So we have the emitter over here. Uh, we have the meter over here. So at least this meter uh, uh, will measure the power. Okay, since we have power measurement in SSI number six. So, so this is how the unit looks like. Okay, the power uh, meter. Okay, All right. And then this is again uh, the module of your resistor one two three and then we have our inductor over here one two one two and then we have the uh, series of uh, capacitor over here okay this is the capacitor right. so you you have uh, exercise number six for this one okay so exercise four and five i believe it is not shown here but you can see from your lab sheet Again, back to SSN number four. Yes, this is the basic uh, statistical sampling. So again, I, I explained to you how sh should you do. So how you should uh, run the experiment. And then after you have all the sampling, after you have measured all the value of the ohms of the resistor, and then you must be able to uh, to do some uh, statistical analysis. So you must be able to, uh, how to say, to, to calculate the uh medians for example so the average for the mean for example the average for example i come up with the the bell shape of the graph okay something like that okay and then uh, you can you could can go through the lab sheet uh, for, uh, for more details and then the measurement you seeing a dc bridge so this is what i mentioned earlier so you have the opportunity to play around with the unit or with the equipment so the so-called wheatstone bridge or the kelvin kelvin bridge okay these two type of so this is uh, used for uh, determining the unknown resistor. Okay, uh, you have let's say you have the unknown value of resistor, and then you put in the resistor into the unit, the Wheatstone, for example, and then do some uh, parameter setting. Okay, some of the feature, some of the parameter setting, and then you may uh, come up with the value or calculate the value of the unknown resistor. Two types again, the Wheatstone and so the bridge, the Kelvin bridge. Okay, this is the, the type, lah, the brand, Yokogawa 2796. Six, uh, six times, sorry. So, and then uh, number six, so the power measurement again, uh, DC and AC. This is this the one we use. Okay, so we have the workbench over here. This is all the supplies. So, these are the switches over here. So, I believe this is the supply of the three phase. So, this is the supply for the uh, single phase here, single phase, and this is AC and this is the uh, DC and then you are going to have a measurement of power in a dc circuit dc circuit as well as the ac <clears throat> so so we have a multiple load or multiple type of loads for ac uh, first we have the circuit resistive loads so we have the circuit capacitive load as well as the circuit inductive inductive load. Okay. now are uh, the last lab uh makmal principle electric or electrical principle a lab so we are going to have another three experiments and again this is what i told you earlier so this is how we uh, how we operate or this is the equipment you should uh, operate later on so we have our equipment or we have our component for example we slot in here somewhere here or somewhere here okay and then we measure the the value or we can even uh, uh generate the the the, the sign waveform over here right so using the oscilloscope this is the probe you see this is the probe so this is the connector uh, goes to the component for example 
which is attached to the, this equipment and then we may produce or we may generate the uh, the waveform the sinusoidal waveform okay. so this this is this is uh, particularly for experiment number nine the last experiment okay so how to uh, actually using a oscilloscope to measure ac ac voltage so this is what i mentioned earlier so oops Okay, and then uh, number seven and number eight, I think this is uh, somehow similar to what I have explained. So we have uh, the AC, DC source as well as AC, AC source. Okay, so we have a resistor measurement, current measurement, voltage measurement, uh, voltage and current uh, measurement. So this is very direct forward experiments. Again, uh, using, using DC source. Okay, because while you are, uh, you know, you play around with DC source, so everything is very direct, direct forward. Okay, but once you come to AC source, and then you see this how the challenge come comes in, sir. Okay, so we have, for example, oops, sorry. So we have uh, again a uh, few possible combination of series and parallel load circuit. Okay, so for example, the first one we have a series resistive inductive load. So we try to combine between. Uh, resistor and also inductor lah. Of course, okay, kita masukkan, we install the, uh, the resistor and also the inductor into our load circuits in series connection and see, so in see all the, all the measurements. So what happened to the value of the current, for example, what happened to the value of the voltage, etc. Et and then what about if we connect them in parallel, okay, the activity number two. So with the same uh, configuration of load circuit, okay, the R L uh, configuration or the R L load circuit, and then again we come back to series, but this time around we have a resistive and capacitive. We have the combination between the resistor and the capacitor, and we put it together in the load as a load circuit, and see what happened to the current, what happened to the V, the voltage, and then again uh, we connect them in parallel. And observe, do the observation. Then RLC, so we try to combine all of them, uh, the resistor, the inductor, as well as the capacitor. And see, again, do the measurement and see what happened to the value of R, sorry, with the value of uh, I, uh, V, uh, maybe P, okay, the power. And then what happened if we have the parallel okay, RLC circuit. All right, this is the last assessment. So we have divided into several parts according to your CLO. Since we have all together four CLOs, so then these four as well will be assessed. Okay. So first, we have the lab report, the e copy. So this is the sub marks or the sub item. So we should have result analysis in your report. So that give ten percent. So you have should have uh, discussion and questions. So you must answer all the questions that give ten percent. And then a proper calculation, a reference, a good reference will give another 10%. Then uh, together for CLO number one or lab report carries 30%. Okay. And then the next item uh, will be assessed is the demonstration, CLO number two. So this is the YouTube video, which is less than five minutes time of period of time. So make sure your video is less than 10 minutes. So from there, we will assess your project understanding, which is uh, equivalent to 15% presentation style. So this is the skill. Uh, sorry, this is how creative you are uh, in order to present or in order to, to make the demonstration of the activities that give 15%. And then how confident you are, the self-confident, while doing all the narration, for example, or uh, doing the demonstration in video. So this is equivalent to 5%. And altogether for YouTube demo or demonstrations carries around 35%. Okay. A group organization. So, so you must provide or you must prepare minutes of meeting, CO number three. So these are all applicable uh, during the visual exercise or visual lab. Okay. So of course, we, we when we come to the campus, so you are not requested or you are not uh, required to do the minutes of meeting. But somehow, uh, so we have changed uh, some of the approach 
So we request or you ask you to provide the minutes of meeting. Okay. Since we have everything online, uh, we have everything visual. Uh, a visual approach, I mean. So group organization, 3%, attendance, 5%, discussion, 5%, and form and clarity, 2%. So altogether, we have 50% for minutes of meeting. So ethics and other prints, disciplines, so 20, another 20%. Okay. So grand total is... 100%. So, remarks number one, please attach your minutes of meeting at the end of a lab report. So, every uh, each lab report, so make sure at the end of the page, so you put your minutes of meeting. So, jangan, don't split the files. Okay. So, don't make uh, two or three separate files and upload together in the uh, auto, for example. So, I don't think this is a good practice. So, the best is since there are so many, so in many groups you have, you have two batch. If not mistaken, so the senior and the junior, so the one who follow the roadmap or the one who skip the roadmap because you know due to the early stage of the lockdown, so everything in in, in mess, and then now we have two batches in one group, or in in one lab, and then please make sure you follow all the uh, the instruction given. So especially for the report, so please uh, make every one everything in one report. I mean, for example, here, so minutes of meeting, again, put it uh, at the end of your lab report. Okay. So, and then the second one, so video, YouTube video. So, make sure you put or you write the link on the last page of your lab report. Okay. So, it means after reference, we are expecting to see your minutes of meeting. And then after minutes of meeting, so we are expecting to see the link to your YouTube video as for demonstration, right? And then submission due date. So one week after each experiment. So let's say you are doing the experiment today. So next seven days will be your uh, due date. So make sure you follow the uh, timetable. And then please submit via auto platform under group activities. So your uh, respective lecturer we create a folder uh, of the experiment and then inside that we put the group i mean the group folder for each group and then you can upload your report in there okay via the group activities tab communications platform so we are going to have two of these so outer and also whatsapp so these are the rubric screens so Markah markah ni, all the markah ni actually tak dia tak dia tak sama lah, dia, dia tak dia tak tally, the mismatch with the one I show you. This is only for the uh, guide for you in order to score high mark. So how to score good mark, for example, all this on the left uh, side okay, of the table. You can see this is for excellent lah. Okay. So as you move to the right, so you see this is very good, this is uh, good, this is fair, poor, blah, blah, blah. So it depends on you how to have a good mark, how to score a good mark. So you may refer on the uh, left side of the table. Okay. So how to write a good, how to get a good mark for result, for example, how to get a good result, how to get a good mark for discussion, for example, conclusion, etc., etc. Okay, this is for a report. Then we have, again, <clears throat> this is for minutes of meeting, say. Okay, so you uh, so you know the value. Oh, sorry, you know the the marks over here. Okay, so but you can see here right? what you can see. Oh, uh, you what suppose uh, you uh, to focus is on this part. Okay, so the tendency, discussion, format, and clarity, clarity, etc. Et so this is the demonstration here. So this part you should focus more right, in order to good uh, to obtain high marks blah 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 right so thank you very much this is for this all for the presentation uh, the this is the front cover uh, this is the, how the lab front cover looks like so you, you have the title the group session so this is make sure so you you write down your lecture name properly so you should have the correct lecture then this is the marks, so uh, the total, etc. Et okay. So uh, I should, I would say, uh, upload 
this file in outer this morning but unfortunately i believe the server is now under maintenance i mean the auto server is now under maintenance so you cannot access the outer at present ada soalan oh dah kat tiga it's almost three now so we have kita dah complete we have done 45 minutes ada soalan tak semua jelas kita stop pukul tiga eh. ada dua tiga minit lagi ni oops You can also write in the chat box lah. If you have anything you ask to us. All clear ya, eh, Shankar? Okay. Then we have Afif. Thank you. Jelas. Okay. So if all clear, so who, siapa nak, who want to switch on the camera, please do so. So I can capture. So our bit, meeting, meeting group. Okay, thank you. So who else willing to switch on the camera? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Macam dapat love lah, macam dapat like lah. Okay, share, 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 share. <laughs> Siapa lagi? In 10 lah, in 10, in 10. 1, sorry, 10, countdown 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Okay, look at the camera. Say cheese. Cheese. All right. Thank you very much. So anything like this, I will update in outer as well as the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. So or if you have any uh, question to ask, you may ask your lecturer or you may ask me lah, as the connector. Again, thank you very much for your time. Uh, stay safe. Have a nice day. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih, Rada. Terima kasih, Rada.